These are the best custom minifigures I own. Light Custom is a custom minifig maker that I hadn't heard about until I saw Mayday's reel about the Clone Wars Season 1 Obi-Wan, and I knew I needed to have it, because, as I've mentioned many times before, I'm a crazy Clone Wars fan. I was not expecting what I got. The pad printing on this Obi-Wan blew me away almost as soon as I got it out of the packaging. One of my favorite details is the comlink that has this really great metallic printing that stands out really nice. And what they're known for now is their dual mold printing, which is just a print of a solid color that goes around a piece to make it look dual molded. They've done this in every single one of their Star Wars waves, and it looks spectacular. Obi-Wan was the only one of the figures I got from Wave 1 since I thought at that time $40 was too high of a price for one of these custom minifigures. But I definitely don't think that now. We'll come back to that thought. Wave 2 is when I truly realized that these customs were just built different. Starting off with a figure I already covered in my Brick Daddy video, Rebels Captain Rex. This one really surprised me, and I was not expecting to love it as much as I do. Seeing Brick Daddy's design with this super high quality pad printing is just so beautiful. Next in Wave 2 is Anakin and Obi-Wan in their Clone Wars Season 3-6 costumes. There's actually another version of Obi-Wan that has dark red boots, which... I honestly like more, but he sold out. But that's not to say I don't like this one, I just wish they produced more of that dark red boot version. The faces on this Obi-Wan are pretty cool, but I definitely understand what some people were saying about this smiling face not really fitting with LEGO's aesthetic. It's not terrible, but it just feels a bit off. The detail on the clone gauntlet armor is actually stunning and really sets this Obi-Wan apart from the others. And I was originally not gonna get Anakin at all, but then just seeing how great he looked in Mayday's video blew me away again. The printing on his arms, again, is just so incredibly well done. And the faces are so good. I think this is my personal favorite Lego Anakin face Ever. It just perfectly captures that cocky grin he has all through the Clone Wars. I picked up Anakin along with GCC Rex from Kyber Clones because I didn't get Anakin or Obi-Wan when they originally released. But the minifigure I knew I had to have, the final figure in Wave 2, Savage Opress. This minifigure looks like he was ripped straight out of the Skywalker Saga DLC. Yellow is a super hard color to work with, so this face printing being so clean absolutely blows my mind. He comes with a replacement arm to match how he looks in his later appearances. This is such an awesome detail that I'm so glad they included, because I used to do the same on my official Savage back in the day. Again, you can see the dual molded printing effect is present on all of these minifigures except for Rex. And moving on to wave 3, every single figure from this new wave is just beautiful. Remember earlier when I mentioned that I thought these minifigures weren't worth the price? That's a completely understandable thought to the untrained eye. See, there are a lot of custom makers out there, but a lot of them just don't have the best printing. Light custom figures have perfect printing. A perfect example are the pupils on Savage. Compare them to any other official mall minifigure and you'll immediately see a difference. Now, of course, if you personally can't justify the prices of some of these customs, that's fine. But calling them overpriced is just wrong. Just keep that in mind for this wave specifically. Starting off with my least anticipated, the Mandalorian Super Command, or Maldalorian, is a great minifigure. It's definitely one that people will want multiples of, so Light made sure to make a larger quantity of these guys. It follows the Lego design of the Clone Wars style Mandalorians, but adds some great detailed arm printing. 
This is meant to pair with the next minifigure, Satine Kreese, from the very end of the Shadow Collective art of the Clone Wars. She comes with an extra Obi-Wan head that you can swap onto this Mando body to replicate one of the most heart-wrenching scenes of the Clone Wars. I've loved you always. I always will. Say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you. This look honestly isn't my favorite for Satine, and I would have preferred her full Duchess getup, but that doesn't make this figure any less special. Just look at the great detail that goes from her arms and torso and extends down onto her legs. Remember what I was saying, that light minifigures have the best printing? That definitely applies here. Satine, like almost every other minifigure from Light Customs, has a double-sided face. The first one really looking like Kate Blanchett, and the other looking really... tired. These next two minifigures were the most exciting from this wave for me. I honestly don't know which to talk about first because they're both so great. I'll go with the character I like less. Pre Vizsla looks absolutely incredible. I've always wanted a Pre Vizsla minifigure, but now to finally have what may very well be the most perfect Pre Vizsla minifigure ever produced, it's really something special. The helmet is the best part using custom molded pieces created by Bo-Katan Bricks to replicate the blasters on his helmet. Which is a really weird place for blasters, but I guess with him being a Mandalorian, it makes sense. And that's not even mentioning the beautiful printed detail all over the figure. All the scratches and patterns look incredible on this guy. And the fact that it's all on a pearl dark gray body makes it even better. Even the back printing, which gets covered up by the jetpack, is great. And this is the only one of these minifigures that doesn't have an alternate expression, but I'm not too upset about that since this was pretty much his expression for the entirety of the Clone Wars. I don't know, maybe an evil smirk head would have been cool. And finally, Tales of the Jedi Ahsoka. This minifigure is just so incredibly well done. Using the posable short legs with wraparound printing, plus their dual molded printing effect on the arms, I don't know of any way this figure could be improved. The faces they included for her are perfect. The smiling face print is great, but this concentrating, more serious face is my favorite of the two. And all of this detail on the arms is just so good. They used the official Leku piece from the early Clone Wars sets, which is honestly the only real complaint I could possibly have with this minifigure. Mine has some very, very mild scratching, but nothing too offensive. I honestly just can't get over how great this minifigure is. And I can't wait to take some actual photos recreating some shots from Tales of the Jedi. Official style pad printing custom minifigures are really taking over this year. And I think it's probably going to be one of the best years ever for custom minifigures. Light Custom and bo Bricks have truly opened my eyes to the real potential of pad printed customs. And I will absolutely be buying more of these customs as Wave 4 is looking maybe even better than Wave 3. We are truly blessed to be in this era of custom minifigures, with so many makers creating beautiful minifigures. Later. Hot diggity dog! This place is magnificent!